Welcome to another Finger Picking Friday video. We are getting into, um, we've done quite a few patterns so far and uh, there's loads and loads and loads more coming. So um, hopefully you, you've, enjoying this, you've been enjoying this video. Thanks for all the comments and feedback I've been getting from you guys. Um, it's really great to hear from you and um, I'm glad that uh, you're enjoying these videos. So in today's pattern, uh, what we're going to look at is um, using a pattern we've used before, but we're going to change the, the string grouping that we're actually using for these patterns. So let me play it for you once and then afterwards we'll break it down and I'll show you exactly what's going on there. It sounds like this. <laughs> As you can see, there's nothing fancy happening. I'm still using uh, the actually one of the first patterns we looked at, which is P I M A. But uh, remember, I referred to the very first pattern P I M A we did as root three two one. But in this case, um, it's actually root four three two. So um, what that basically means is I'm playing the lowest note of the chord, which is the root, um, wherever that might be. But then fingers I, M and A, they will be playing strings 4, 3 and 2. So if I do this on C major, you can hear it sounds like this. The very first pattern, the root 3, 2, 1 would have, been, would have sounded like this. But in today's pattern, it sounds like this. So as you can hear, it sounds a little different to the... Uh, to the very first pattern we've checked out. Now, I realize that this uh, way of kind of um, referring to the chords as root or, or the patterns as root three, two, one, or in this case, root four, three, two, has got a little bit of a problem with it. Um, and maybe I'll figure out a way to actually address that. But um, the problem is like with the second chord I used in this example, which was G over B, which just means that it's a G major chord over a B bass note. All right, so it's a G chord, but the lowest note in that chord is going to be a B. So I'm playing a G chord over a B bass note. What we call this in, in, in musical terms, it's an inversion. All right, so we won't get into the theory right now, but inverted chords, they really sound awesome because now in this case, you can hear yeah, I've got a lovely descending um, bass line happening. All right, so um, the descending bass line sounds like this. So I realize I haven't shown you the chords yet. Okay, so um, sorry for rushing ahead. Okay, the first chord was C major. Then I had G over B. Now this fingering is not a really a, a, a strumming friendly fingering, but it's more because I'm just using finger picking right now. All right, so I've got finger two on second fret of the A string, finger four, third fret of the B string, and then I've got the open D and open G. Then A minor, then G. Once again, this is not really a strumming friendly pattern, but it's more for finger picking, and then D over F sharp. Once again, not really that strumming friendly if you want to play a straight D over F sharp back to G. Okay, so now with that pattern that I've shown you, let me play it for you slowly with these chords and listen to this descending bass line that's, that I'm able to play because of the inverted power chords. Oh, sorry, not power chords, just the inverted chords I'm using, all right? All right, so it sounds like this. Right, so as you can hear, it's got a lovely sound to it. Um, that descending bass line just sounds really smooth. It connects all the chords together so my bass notes don't jump all over the place. 
Um, so uh, I definitely encourage you to check out some inversions. Um, all these inversions, these inverted chords, um, finger picking patterns, uh, finger picking techniques, examples, all this kind of stuff, I cover that in my ebooks, uh, which you can check out at acousticguitarlessons.co forward slash ebooks. Just go to that page and you can check out what's on offer there. And um, as always, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit uh, the like button, share it with your friends, and um, let me know in the comments what you think of the videos, if you're enjoying this kind of stuff, or if you have any questions. That way I'll be able to answer them, and um, I'll also be able to actually address some of the questions in the Q&A Wednesday video series. Okay, that's it for now. Have a good one, enjoy the finger picking, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.